everyone, it's Fitz with The Daily Delivery. I hope you're doing well. I am uh, good. Not great. Um, I didn't think I'd be doing back-to-back -back daily deliveries about cancer, but here I am, and this one isn't about me. We lost a state of Kansas sports legend on Thursday, and uh, I, want, I want to try to talk about that. First reminder to subscribe to this YouTube channel and all that other nonsense that doesn't seem very important right now. Um, Steve Bratt did something that all of us should try to do. And I'm gonna brag on myself, I have. He found his happy and stayed with it. He didn't keep trying to climb up that career ladder, find that next big thing. He coached football at Butler County Community College in El Dorado for 42 years, raising a family. It wasn't his first job. He started at Butler as a, you know, as an assistant, grad assistant type guy, and then coached at Wichita State for a couple years, and then ended up back at Butler and became defensive coordinator eventually. Among the players he coached that came to Kansas State, uh, just in recent memory, is Jermaine Berry, Jordan Velker, Volker, excuse me, Jordan, Javonta Boyd, and Shaq Reed. Um, and they won many national championships and a load of football games at Butler. He retired last year, went into the Butler County Community Hall of Fame. Uh, he should be in other Hall of Fames. Um, and he was diagnosed with advanced cancer. By the time they caught it, it was, it was everywhere. And so we all knew what the end would be. There really isn't that much medical science can do. Um, Steve passed away on Thursday, but I, I wanna talk about this. We talk about fighting cancer. We talk about being cancer warriors. Look, it's a club that nobody wants to join but when you're in it, you're in it. And Norm MacDonald, one of my favorite, favorite comedians, did a whole routine on uh, fighting cancer and how do you fight it. I mean, it's little cells to get in there with gloves. It was, it, was, it was a funny routine if you didn't have cancer. Norm eventually died of cancer, so I think he understood exactly what we mean. You don't fight the cancer. You fight to get out of bed. You fight to go do your daily stuff. You fight to be happy. Sometimes you fight to just breathe and keep going. Steve fought to the end. And uh, our wishes, our prayers go out to the Bratt family and Taylor and specifically. Taylor, the K-State Nation loves you. And if you know Taylor, he's the director of football recruiting at Kansas State, and a legend in his own way. And I don't mean this as a shot at Taylor. This is truly, in my book, a compliment, because you know me, I'm a dog person. He's like that happy dog. When he comes in the room, everyone notices and everyone's happy. And he makes people happy. It's a gift. And everyone says he's much like his father. He's, he, they were best friends. They were tight. Some people say they were clones. Taylor coached all through spring football, it's recruiting period, did his work, and his dad wanted him to. So I'm glad Taylor got to spend some time with him at the end. Oh, man, cancer sucks. It's just everywhere right now. I feel like it's all around me. Hang in there, Taylor. It's not easy, but you're the son of a fighter. That's it.